Hey guys, we're back. And this is the world in technology. Just call it Twit. Okay, this is Twit. On our first story, Steven Spielberg is going to direct Ready Player One. Wait, what am I talking about? Let me start at the beginning. Let me cut him off before he starts rambling. Ready Player One is a science fiction book about virtual reality. In this book, our lead character Wade Wilson goes to school in the Oasis, which is the VR world they live in. And there is a big quest for all the money and power in the world. And there is tons of 80s trivia and puzzles. And our lead has to overcome it. Good wins over evil, or an evil corporation in this case, and everything is good in the world again. Where it ties into tech is that basically everything this book has said about VR is true or close to true. Let's see, we already have four prominent we are manufacturers. Oculus Rift, Valve, Sony's Morpheus, Google's Cardboard. Cardboard, I think you mean Windows HoloLens. No, I mean Cardboard. Anyways, VR is going to be everywhere in a few years. And this is the first time that the technology is going to be side by side with the fiction. And how is it going to hold up? I'm just so stoked Steven Spielberg is doing this. Can you stop acting like a hyper little girl, man? On other news, media is lying. Obama and Putin don't hate each other. What? Yeah, they're building us. A space station together, man. Um, actually, NASA and its Russian equivalent Roscosmos announced a plan to build a space station when the International Space Station is retired in 2024. See, they're friends. No, I don't think it's that. Roscosmos chief Igor Komarov told journalists that we have agreed that Roscosmos and NASA will be working together on a program of a future space station. NASA chief Charles Bolden said that their ultimate aim is to launch a joint mission to Mars because they wa both want to know what happens to Arnold Schwarzenegger's face over there. Rah! Meanwhile, India's famously frugal Mars mission has been extended by around six months thanks to a surplus of fuel aboard the great spacecraft. David Prashad Karnak, director of ISRO, said, as the Mars orbiter had sufficient fuel to last longer than it was intended earlier, its mission has been extended for another six months. I don't know if he sounds like that, but now he does. That was wrong. Funny, but wrong. Speaking of wrong, Leshi TV compared Apple to Hitler. The comparison was made in an ad for Leshi TV's new smartphone, and if you took the, uh, uh, if you look at the cartoon's armband, you notice the Apple's logo and it's a notorious swastika. Leshi TV CEO and founder Jia Yuting has also claimed that Apple is hindering innovation, <clears throat> and thus is harming the mobile market. I want to know why a smartphone company has a TV in its name. Why do we have a radio in ours? And when we are on YouTube, maybe it's a signal bars. Moving on, ever heard of dropping the bass on a blazing fire? Really bad one. Two engineering students from George Mason University in Virginia have invented a potentially revolutionary fire extinguisher that uses low frequency sound waves instead of water, gas or foam. Seth Robertson and Viet Tran are really excited about their new device and even want to see these devices being attached to drones to battle forest fires and building fires. So a little dead mouse there, rock that burning building! Tran and Seth Robertson now hold a preliminary patent application for the device which the university is describing as potentially revolutionary. It still looks like a speaker attached to a vacuum cleaner. What do you want to look like? Rainbows and butterflies. I, I don't think that's physically possible. On our last story, Boeing patented force fields. Let's not go crazy here. The method and system for shockwave attenuation via electromagnetic arc isn't, the, isn't quite all, the all-purpose shield you see on spaceships in movies like Star Wars, but it's definitely in the ballpark. And how does it work? Boeing has submitted a few ideas, including using at least one of the following. High-intensity laser pulses, pellets forming a conductive ion trail, sacrificial conductors, projectiles trailing electrical wires, or magnetic induction. Basically, they don't know, and they're shooting in the dark. If the first medium is, as it probably would be the air, the idea is that the arc generator... The arc generator! Isn't that what the Iron Man has it in, in his chest? No, that's the arc reactor. I am Ishan Adil, and he is an Iron Man, so he doesn't know. We'll stop here. And I'm Karthik. If you like our show, please subscribe to us and leave us a tweet or message. And you can also catch some of our old stuff right here on my left. And let me ask you, is it cheating if it's on VR? Um... Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> Sorry. What am I supposed to say? Hey guys, we're back. You said it, uh, the comma is not a full stop. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey guys, we're back. And this is the world in technology. Oh shit. He's got the kickers. He really has got the kickers. Hey guys, we're back! And this is the world in technology. Just call it Twit. And this is Twit. On our first story, Steven Spielberg is going to direct Ready Player One. Wait, 
What am I talking about? Let me Let cut him off before he starts rambling. Ready Player One is a book about science fiction. Sorry, it's a science fiction book about virtual reality. <laughs> Let's go <with> that. <laughs> you really did cut me off. I had to. <laughs>